The Bash with Kate and James. With me here right now is the uh, the producer, the writer, uh, the star, Frank Latito. How are you? Yeah, oh, good, James. How are you, mate? Do you like that intro? I love it. I love it. It's great. You know, I'm, uh, more and more uh, credits uh, on top. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, uh, a jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> no, that's not true at all. You've had a, a wonderful success with the film, and uh, and the DVDs come out. You must be really excited. Oh, we are very excited. Yeah, we've had a, a great response with the DVD. You know. Um, uh, it's very popular, especially because it's Christmas. This afternoon, I watched the gag reel. Oh, yes. And I watched the deleted scenes, of which there were, there were many. Was it very hard to uh, select and chop? When you're making a film, uh, you've got a certain, I guess, vision uh, and on how you think it's going to finish. But uh, then you, when you get into the test screening uh, stage, where you test it with an audience, you realise that there are certain things that either don't work or... They work really well, but they don't do a lot for the story, you know. So you have to kind of, I guess, bite the bullet and decide which one of those uh, are more important than, and, and cut the film down. And we remind everybody that it is out all over Australia. Uh, you know, it's, it's already selling well uh, in Perth and, and Adelaide and... And, you know, people are sending in, you know, great uh, great feedback. So it's good, yeah. So everyone, you've got to get out there and get yourself a copy of uh, Big Mama's Boy if you didn't catch it in cinemas. And if you did, you still got to get yourself a copy. That's right. It makes a good present. And, look, uh, we want to just a quick thank you to, to all our supporters out there, and especially yourself, you know, James, for for helping us out with uh, promoting the film and, uh, and, and spreading the word and, and all the people that came to the cinema and now buying DVDs, you know, it's wonderful. Hey, Frank, thanks very much. Thanks for having a chat on The Bash. My pleasure, James. Thank you. Right now with me, we have one of the other actresses from Big Mama's Boy. It's Christy Yandovich. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. You said it really well. I like to roll my R's. Yeah. You play a, a quite, quite a fun role in the film Big Mama's Boy. Where you got to be half naked. Yeah, I'm wearing more clothes today. <laughs> you are. Frank and I decided we didn't recognise you apparently yeah, no with, the, with, with the clothes on. You know, now, let's confirm, you're not totally nude in no. the film. No. But, you know, you wear, what, you're down to underwear. It's underwear, yeah, and Frank's in a singlet and underwear. <laughs> and you're basically just, you know, um, getting it on. Yeah, running amok. Frank a good kisser. I won't tell his wife. <laughs> Uh, well, I can't remember, actually, so maybe that's... That's really thing. bad. <laughs> in all seriousness, as, a, as an actress, uh, when you've got to do scenes like that, and in this instance, it's, a, it's more of a comical aspect to, you know, the, the, the wrestling on the bed, but even though, and you have to be semi-intimate, let's call it, with, with somebody, is it a hard thing to do? I think you have to um, remember that you're playing a character, so you have to actually remove yourself and not think that it's you doing that. <laughs> Is there a man in your life? Maybe. Did he see it? Uh, no, he hasn't. Are you ever going to show him? <laughs> uh, yes. I, I'm actually going to get the DVD and I will show him. And how do you think he'll take it? I think he'll really enjoy it, actually. I think he'll like the humour. By the way, where can we see you soon? I hear you've got a play out. Yeah, I'm in a new play that's called 37 Ways to Say I'm Gay. It's a comedy. And it will be at Downstairs at Elmer. How do we get tickets? You can go onto the Downstairs at Elmer website and purchase the tickets that way. Thanks for having a chat. Christy Yandrich. Thank you. Merry Christmas. So right now I'm here with Osvaldo Maione, who played Nonno in the film Big Mama's Boy. How are you, Osvaldo? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, we... yeah, you're, you're the famous Nonno in the film, yeah. and we all know you because you say the word bastardo a lot. Yeah. Yes, I, I like the, the role that they gave me because... Uh, it's a little role, but it's a, the, the, the feeling of all the film. Tell me something, Osvaldo. Has, have people recognized you tonight? Look, there is a, a big difference when they, when you do a, a part, yeah. you just try to, just to give your best to, to look the normal, yeah. I can say. But now, I don't think that the people can tell me. You look, I'm a nonno. you look much younger, much yeah, younger, Osvaldo, than you do in the film. Well, Osvaldo, I want to congratulate you for a wonderful film and a wonderful role. Right. And we wish you all the very best and, and lots of DVDs on sale. Okay, I, I, I thank you very much and then I just uh, and wish you all the best in your career. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> this is the b b bash the bash with Kate and James. You are the mama of Big Mama's Boy. It's uh, we we saw it in the cinemas uh, midway through this year, and now it's been released on DVD. 
How do you feel? Is it exciting? You are in the video stores and you're, you're there on the front cover. I know it's very exciting and tonight it, it's the second night of launching it and um, last night we launched it Forza Italia and um, at one point I turned around to the director and I went, oh, this is more exciting than the premiere because you know we had all, pe- all these enthusiastic people coming up and they're wanting their copies signed and people have seen it and they're buying it because they've seen it and they love it. And, Carmelina de Guillermo, it doesn't stop for you. You've got the Big Mama's Boy DVD. It's out. People are loving it across Australia. But uh, you're involved in other projects. You've got something coming up uh, in January as well. I am. That's so, I'm just so glad that you mentioned that because I was hoping we could give La Befana a plug, which will be on at the Carlton Courthouse at 2 p.m. on the 6th of January, which is La Befana Day. But also so thrilled to announce that... Um, you, James, did you know? No, James. <laughs> what? Liotta. What's this? James Liotta. He will be starring in La Bifana Pantomime on the 6th of January as well as my apprentice, with affectionately known as Spoilio, but not in the undressing sense, in the spoil it all up. You know, it's your traditional apprentice who stuffs everything up and you know, a bit bumbling and everything. But so, no, that will be great. I'm so looking forward to working with you, James, on La Befana, which is, you know, the folklore that our parents grew up with, the the Italian Christmas witch. Thanks, Carmelina. Ciao, James. So I've spoken to some of the actors here of Big Mama's Boy at the the promotional night at Mondo Music, but now I'm speaking to the man that... uh, Puts it all together in the end, and he's got the, probably the, one of the hardest jobs. Franco Di Chiara, the director, how are you? Very good, thanks. Now, what about the gag reel? The gag reel, the, I mean, some of the gags are just the actors pulling faces, sticking their tongues out. To the director, does that get annoying? <laughs> well, what happens is... Um, Time is money. Well, what happens is, first of all, it's a highly tense environment. And sometimes it's a release of pressure. Um, And it's a good thing when that happens. And everyone enjoys it, and then you move on. It's when they lose it that you do waste time. But but it didn't really happen very often, actually. And so we all enjoyed it when it used to happen, yeah. But, I mean, you know, the Nonno one where he's... I got him to try lots of different versions of his, um, you know, swearing. Because... um, when you're dealing, in fact, it's an actor's technique often where you can just play with one word and say it a hundred different ways. You're absolutely right, Franco Di Chiara, because uh, I was recently hearing that uh, actors uh, such as Robert De Niro and even Danny DeVito use the same technique sometimes. Well, um, some actors don't actually like it and lose, lose their tops over it. And uh, we had one instance where that actually happened. But, we'll uh, keep that. We'll keep that hush. Hush. Secret who it was. It wasn't the lead actor. <laughs> was it the lead actress? No, it wasn't the lead actor. So anyway, that's all. It was was it uh, the fruit man? <laughs> no, not the lead. Actor. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. But anyway, actually, when that, when um, all that happened, uh, everyone was really shocked, and there was this moment of silence, and then we all cracked up and laughed again. So <laughs> come on, it was Mama, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Mama. Mama was. Mama was very calm throughout the whole shoot. I, 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 in fact, uh, she remained very calm. Well, the final result is is fantastic, and it's been a lovable film for uh, Australians all, all across the uh, the country. So, well, best well, best wishes. Thank you. Well, for me, I think everyone. I hope everyone sees it for what it is, which is a romantic comedy, which ultimately is a tribute to the last vestiges of post-war immigrant culture because it's about to disappear and all these characters are people we grew up with and loved. So it sends them up but it does it in a lovable way and it celebrates them. So I hope everybody gets that. This is the Bubba Bash.